where it all begins. Plump, juicy, young green coconuts growing on the plantation palms in tropical Thailand. What do you have to do to get a drink of coconut water around here? Sheesh! In the plantation's early dawn light, workers wielding long bamboo poles fitted with a metal hook select and collect young green coconuts. A flick of the wrist and a soft landing in the irrigation ditch, where another worker waist deep in water attaches the floating coconuts to a long cord tied around his waist trailing behind him. When sufficient coconuts have been collected, he moves to the bank and throws the coconuts into a pile. Coconuts are then loaded by two workers into a utility fitted with high pipe frame sides for transport to the cannery. After dehusking, the green coconuts are opened by cleaver wielding female workers. The released coconut water flows through filters into a 20 litre container where it is chilled in ice before the canning process begins. Hygiene is paramount during the coconut groove canning process. Nobody, but nobody, enters the cannery before washing hands and donning protective clothing. Bulk pellets of shrink-wrapped empty coconut groove cans are forklifted in from the storage area and placed beside the can submission machine. Here the plastic wrap is removed and the empty cans are fed layer by layer onto the conveyor system that lifts the can up the wall to near ceiling height, out through an opening in the wall and across the alleyway into the cannery, where the process of filling the cans with coconut groove coconut water begins. In the background, cans can be seen wending their way along the production line. The girls in yellow are performing one of the several continuous quality control tests. This test determines the natural sugar content of the coconut water. An important initial process before filling the cans with coconut water is steam cleaning and sterilisation of the empty cans. The process taking place in the oblong metal box at a head height behind the girls. During sterilisation, the empty cans are the right way up with the coconut groove logo at the top. As cans leave the steriliser, a twist in the conveyor turns the cans upside down, leaving the open bottom of the can facing upward. The conveyor system then feeds the upside down can into the rotary filler, filling the can with fresh coconut water. Within seconds, the now filled can enters the lock seamer, where the can base is fitted and sealed. I'm inspecting an empty can while full cans continue their way on the circuitous route to the cage cart machine, where the cans are slid layer by layer and multi-stacked with a sheet of perforated stainless steel between each layer. Nearby, another quality control inspection takes place. The cage cart machine stacks layers of cans onto a square trolley stored within. When full, the trolley is hand wheeled into a steam pasteurization chamber where the filled cans are heated to 49 degrees for 20 minutes before being removed. Pasteurisation alleviates the need to add preservatives. The process continues with the pasteurised cans being wheeled to the can drying machine. After drying, the machine slides the cans layer by layer onto a conveyor belt leading back out through the wall. The conveyor system opens out into the moving platform of the magnetic orientating machine where yours truly is taking a gander at the finished product.
Ta-da! The cans of coconut groove are then picked up by the electromagnetic machine and deposited layer by layer with a sheet of cardboard between each layer onto pallets, after which they are moved by forklift to the cooling area, where they will remain for three days prior to being packed into cartons, loaded into containers and beginning their journey to Queensland's Sunshine Coast. That's all gone black, Groover. I told you not to touch that button. See what you've done, little pest.